the holder of the blaze. In any city, in any country, go to the nearest mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask for the one known as the holder of the blaze. The receptionist will stare at you with a look of cold, burning hatred, but will reply coolly. He does not accept visitors. You will have to insist with a commanding voice, or she will not believe you are the one. If she doesn't think you're the right one, she will call upon the guards to escort you out of the building. If you make her believe you are the one who truly seeks the holder, she will reply coldly, Follow me closely. I'd advise you to listen. Do not stray for more than five feet away from her, or you will burn in a dimension between this and that of the holder of the blaze for eternity. When she is about halfway down the hall, you should start to hear a demonic voice laughing and trying to distract you. Do not listen, or you will lose control and fall to the floor, going mad with the other seekers who have failed their quest. When the laughing stops, you must tell the receptionist to stop and freeze yourself. If she asks, Why are we stopping? Do you want to see the holder or not? Do not reply to her, but say this. The blaze does not scare me. Allow us to pass through this inferno. If the laughing continues, you may tell her that you may now continue. If the laughing does not return, fall to your knees and tell the receptionist to go without you. You will want to burn instead of being mauled by the demons that will surely haunt you. When you make it to the end of the hall, you will find a charred iron and obsidian door. Enter the cell behind the door exactly ten seconds after the receptionist says, I wish you luck. You foolish seeker. Her look will change to one of concern and regret. She was once a seeker, after the holder of the blaze as well. When you enter, the door will slam shut and the fires in the cell will dim. Wait exactly one minute and say these words exactly. What are the punishments? A small inferno will spark in the exact center of the room to reveal the demon from the halls that was taunting you. He will describe in gruesome detail the seekers that have come and gone, every punishment and torture they had to face during their time as a seeker. If you have not gone mad from this telling, say, I wish to learn of the blaze that your object holds. He will then disappear only to reappear seconds later, holding a small, blazing orb. He will beckon you to take it. But you mustn't, for at this time it's untouchable. You must wait for this object to turn blue. It may take what seems like an eternity, and the demon may threaten you. But he has no power here, at least not any more. Once you have taken the object, you will appear in your room. You will remember nothing of the mental institution, only of the demon and the orb. This orb is object number 541 of 538. The blaze is held within it. When will you release it? And remember... They must never come together, lest your souls all burn in the inferno sealed within.